In this video, I will show you how to upload the patient's files, including the patient's original intraoral scan, as well as the PrEP scan, which is ideal for your veneer design. So first thing we do here, we go to the menu, which is on the top left corner. Then you go to new patient and select the patient digitalization. Okay, so that's how we will start any case. Then, since we are uploading multiple files, you can go over here to Moot Section, click in this plus sign, and upload the files from any of these cloud softwares. In my case, I have everything in my iCloud, so I'm going to look for my patient. And I will start to select all the files that I want to upload. And then I'll hit here, open. Okay, now all I have to do is to drag the file into the box. So here for full smile, I'm going to press and hold and drag into full smile. Let me scroll up. Then I'm going to add my my lower intraoral scan. For the PrEP scan, you will use here Maxilla Post Up. Okay, that's where you add the PrEP scan. Here, it's just asking if I have more files to add. I'll say yes. Here's my upper intraoral scan. Then when you add all the files, the software will ask if you um, have already closed the model, which basically means that if it's closed, meaning if it looks like one of these two files here, it is actually ready to be 3D printed because it has this thickness here on the mesh. You see here, it's kind of like thick or it has kind of like a tabletop. If it's not closed, let's say you just exported the file from your intraoral scanner, it will most likely look like this. It's very thin, as you can see. So you, you basically, you will not be able to 3D print the model after you design. So if it looks like this, simply click Open Shell, okay? And then the software, Smileify, will now optimize the model, making sure that it is printable, okay? This is a mandatory step if you want to export and print your models, which is the main goal of uh, designing yourself. Uh, this process will take about 35 seconds to a minute, two minutes. It depends on the size of the file. It depends on your uh, iPad or MacBook memory. And it is important that you leave the software working on its own so that it can complete its optimization. Once completed, click In Done. I will also add the patient's CVCT model, okay, as an STL file. Notice that we have two boxes here. One here that says CVCT model, which is where you will add the STL file of your CT scan for you to see the bone part of your, um, of your planning. And here at the bottom, we have the CBCT DICOM file, okay? The DICOM file, it's where you add the actual CBCT um, for you to use it as a CBCT viewer, all right? So I already converted my CBCT DICOM file into a CBCT model. So I'm going to go over here and add this file here, okay? I'm going to click just so you can see how it looks like, all right? Um, this is not mandatory, just so you know, uh, but it's great for you to see the bone levels uh, of your case and uh, do a better treatment planning for your cases, okay? All right, so that's basically how you do it. And then here at the bottom, you will click on Calibrate. Okay. 
And we will begin by setting three points onto the STL and three points on the photo, okay? Start always from the left to the right. Over here at the bottom, we have a little locker where you can lock the file so it doesn't rotate anymore. anymore. So let's start by going from left, central, and right side of the screen, okay? One, two, three. And on the photo, you will drag the targets and place it somewhere close to where you place those dots in the STL. Now let's tap on Calibrate. Oh well. Well, if that happens, it's good to happen here. If that happens, uh, you can simply hit Calibrate once again. Let me unlock my File. Let's see, maybe I, I just placed the targets in a wrong position. You can click on the STL dot and maybe like bring a little bit like close to the middle third. Same thing over here. And then you hit calibrate. Okay. And then if it continues like that, simply you can simply rotate, use the rotation buttons that you can see here. Another option is by using these commands here at the bottom, okay? Let me zoom in a little bit. And then I click rotate, you press and hold onto any of these circles and it will do the movement as you desire, okay? So green, for example, as you can see, it goes sideways, blue, Turns to the left or right, okay? And then here under position, which is this one, you can bring it up, down, left or right. Okay, all right, so then we have here the bottom options. If you click on it, let's now go into the IO post op, which is the prep scan. If you can't find your file or one of the files, simply zoom out and you'll be able to find it, okay, with your two fingers. All right, so here we will do three points but now on the palatal area so we have uh basically you would you would just turn the those two files into an occlusal view and then you will set three points somewhere here close to the palatal area of the canine then right here in the middle of the stl and then another one here close to the canine, kind of like creating this triangle. And now let's do the same thing on the other side. Now, you can click here in Calibrate and the files will merge together. For a more precise calibration, you can click Smile 5 Fit. So once you're clicking Smile 5 Fit, the software basically will analyze those two files and bring them all into the right position. This takes about a minute to be completed. And now, as you can see, the files were automatically merged into one another. 
Over here, you can see the opacity and you can see that we have in blue the prepped scan and then here we have the original scan. Now, if you want to merge the CT scan as well, simply click in the button here at the bottom and then look for CT scan. And you will do the same procedure. We will set three points now on the canine, another one on the central, and another one on the other canine, and then over here, same thing, canine, central, canine, okay? And then let's select calibrate, and then here you can use these commands on the right side. Let me get a pencil. Okay, and then here, for example, we can bring it more apical. We can rotate if we have to. Bring it more buckle. Okay, the goal here is to make sure that it's as close as possible to one another. So here, for example, see that these uh, molar from the CT scan is much higher than the one on the STL. That means I need to use my rotation and then bring that down a little bit and also bring it more coronal. Okay. There we go. And now as you can see, it's calibrated. So for the prep scan and the original SEL, you can use uh, this Myofi fit, which is this one. And then for the CT scan and the intraoral scan, you hit calibrate and use the commands over here to finalize your calibration. Okay, all right. Um, over here, if I use opacity, let me just change the opacity. Here, as you can see, you can visualize now the bone file. And you can use the original STL as kind of like to measure the gingiva that you have over here. Okay. All right, and then if you want to visualize the whole design, the whole patient calibration, you simply go to digital patient. Okay. And with the digital patient, you will be able to see everything from the original file, the CT scan with or without it. You can just change opacity over here. You can remove the mandible. All right, now let's save the case. You simply click over here in next, add the patient's name, and click save. Once you click save, you can go ahead and go to case management and begin your 3D design by clicking over here. We have several videos, several tutorial videos in our tutorial page Simply go to smilefy.com and search for resources and it, you will find a drop down menu with the tutorial section to learn how to do the 3D design, how to export a CT bone file out of your CT, CBCT scan uh, using the DiagnoCat uh, feature. All right. Okay. So hope you... Enjoy the video and I'll see you next time.